The entire block in front of the closed down and controversial Detroit Police Crime Lab has been blocked off for hours. And that's because of the chemicals that have been sitting inside the building for years. Investigators from Detroit Police Internal Affairs and Michigan State Police are working together to clear the building of those chemicals that are in a lab that has been blocked off because of black mold. That's reportedly part of the reason for the hazmat situation tonight. That and the fact that the chemicals, if spilled or combined, could reportedly become dangerous or toxic or possibly even explosive. There are a lot of um, materials uh, that have yet to be uh, remediated and mitigated uh, to get out of there. Uh, chemical agents uh, relative to uh, narcotics testing. That's what you're going to be concerned because you're wondering what, what's going on. Like I said, when I came home, I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, you're going to be concerned. People who live nearby are a little uneasy by the scene out in front of the closed down lab, a building they feel must eventually be torn down. It needs to be taken down. The whole building? Right. If you know, they don't have no more use for it, they should just tear it down. Okay, will that make you feel safer? <laughs> yeah. Police say the entire street was blocked off because Tiger fans often park on brush and people walk or ride their bikes by and there was no guarantee the situation would stay safe. But after taking inventory of what was inside, the workers for marine pollution who deal with this kind of potential danger all the time decided the chemicals which have been in the building for a long time could sit there one more day. This scene will likely be repeated in the morning. That's when they're going to take the chemicals and anything dangerous out of the building. In Detroit, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News.